Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making some healthy oatmeal or faux oatmeal recipes using a secret ingredient. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the recipes. So to start off the base, the base of all these recipes are gonna be cauliflower. And cauliflower is so great for you. It's rich in vitamin K, it's rich in choline, which is good for your brain, it's got fiber, and it's grain and gluten-free, making this a paleo and low-carb recipe. I'm adding in some full-fat coconut milk, which is great for digestion and it's gonna keep you full, some flax for some fiber, and then some vanilla for flavor. So this is the base that's gonna make each of the three recipes. So we're gonna cook that over medium heat, basically until the cauliflower softens and it kind of turns into an oatmeal texture and more of the coconut milk is absorbed. So just keep stirring that till you get a nice thick and then that way you can add in your collagen or protein powder if you like. I like adding in collagen because it doesn't change the consistency and it's got lots of amino acids that are super good for you. Plus collagen is great for your gut, your hair, your skin, your nails, and your joints. But it is optional, I just stir that in. So the first flavor we're gonna make is cacao almond. So I separated my mixture into three, so this is gonna make three breakfasts. I'm adding in a tablespoon of raw cacao, which is loaded with antioxidants, as well as a quarter teaspoon of this cacao honey. You could also use plain honey, but since I had honey that had cacao in it, I figured it would work well in this recipe. And then I am just stirring that together. So if you wanted to make the whole batch with the raw cacao flavor, you would just multiply this by three. So I'm stirring that until everything is nice and combined. And then you can meal prep this, you can bring it to school or work, it's perfect. You don't even recognize really that it's like cauliflower instead of oatmeal and it's a great way to get more veggies in. So you just put that into your bowl, I'm separating that down and then I'm drizzling that with some almond butter. So almond butter is rich in vitamin E which is good for your skin, it's got wonderful healthy fats and the healthy fats along with the fiber and all the cauliflower is really going to help keep you full. And I'm just swirling that in to kind of make it pretty, but you don't have to do this. And then I'm putting on a few dairy-free, sugar-free chocolate chips. So this is a little less than a tablespoon, just to kind of complete it on top. And because they're dairy-free and sugar-free, they work well, and you get this wonderful bowl of chocolate oatmeal that basically looks and tastes like dessert, but it's full of vegetables. The next one we're making is a cinnamon berry. So to my base, I'm adding in just some cinnamons. This is more of a plain or what it would be like a plain oatmeal, a oatmeal recipe. So you're stirring that together and then I'm putting that in my bowl and I'm adding in some chia seeds. Chia seeds are loaded with omega-3 and they actually have 64 times more potassium than a banana per serving, which is crazy. I'm adding in some blueberries and then in the center of the blueberry like circle, I'm adding in some sunflower seed butter. It's just a great alternative to nut butters. I like to change it out and let's use the sunflower seeds, which is good. So if you can't have nuts, I would go for a sunflower seed butter or a pumpkin seed butter. Both are really delicious. And the last flavor we're making is this matcha coconut. So I'm adding in a teaspoon of matcha into my base and you can tell the quality of the matcha by how brightly green it is. I use the one from Apoto and it's just really good. Matcha is great because it's got a little bit of caffeine but it also has something called L-theanine which helps promote focus and you're also not going to get as jittery plus matcha has a really great flavor as well. So I'm putting that into my bowl and then I'm going to be drizzling it with a little bit of coconut butter, which is just puree coconut, as well as some hemp seeds. So hemp seeds add healthy fats and fiber and so does the coconut butter. And it is really, the flavors work well with the matcha. I had it for breakfast this morning, it was super delicious. And there you go, that is your matcha coconut. And I love all of these flavors, but what's really great is that they kind of make you feel like you're having oatmeal, but you're not, you're having oatmeal. So it's grain free, it's low carb, and you get to sneak your veggies in in a great way, which is crazy. And the possibilities are endless. Anyway, you would have your regular oatmeal, you can have your cauliflower oatmeal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So stay tuned for lots more delicious, healthy, easy recipes. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.